Hey, Games for Life here. Today we're gonna focus on how to create a nanocarbon alloy. So you're probably wondering what this whole thing is. These right here are all the ingredients needed to craft one single nanocarbon alloy. I know these are a lot of resources right here. And that's because nanocarbon alloy is the most valuable resource in Astroneer. So let me explain how this goes. You probably know, for one nanocarbon alloy to be crafted, you need steel and titanium alloy. Alright, now we can see better. While steel is pretty straightforward, titanium alloy, on the other hand, is harder to create. The first step is getting hydrazine, so we need two ammonium and one hydrogen. That's gonna get us one canister of hydrazine. Now combine the hydrazine with one graphite, and the result will be one graphene. Alright, we can move it up here. Now it's pretty straightforward. One titanium plus one graphene react in the presence of nitrogen to create titanium alloy. And then one iron and one carbon, with some argon, creates the steel. We get the steel, we place it right here, we get the titanium alloy, place it right here. And with helium, all of this will create one nanocarbon alloy. So let me just take away these two. And all that's remaining on here is what's needed for one nanocarbon alloy. In theory, all you need is one chemistry lab and one atmospheric condenser, but, and there's a big but, the most important ingredient is helium. And you've guessed it, you can only get it on Aatrox. So you're gonna have to go to Aatrox for this. I'm sorry, that's just how things go. So here we go. One nanocarbon alloy requires titanium alloy, steel and helium, as we've previously discovered. Let's start with steel since this one's easier to make, so all we need is carbon, iron and argon. Right, so you can find argon on Vesania or on Glacio, I recommend getting it from Vesania, that's where I got it from, it's just easier. Alright, and our steel is ready. Now let's get going with the titanium alloy. So we've got the titanium already and we've got the nitrogen. Now we need graphene. Let's search it. Here it is. So for graphene, we need graphite and hydrazine. Graphite is pretty straightforward, you can get it using a soil centrifuge or you can search for it on the planet's surface. But the hydrazine is a little bit more complicated. We need two ammonium and one hydrogen. Well, ammonium can be found on any planet, hydrogen is not that easy to find. You can only get it from Silva, Kalidor, Vesania or Novus. Okay, let's grab the hydrazine now. This is actually going pretty quick. And there it is. Now we've got the hydrazine. Next step is creating the graphene. You can see hydrazine, graphite, just like that. It's already done. Now, with all of that, we can go ahead and craft the titanium alloy. This is gonna use nitrogen. You will be able to find nitrogen on Silva, Vesania and Aatrox. I got it from Aatrox, but that's just because I need the helium. I recommend you don't go to Aatrox unless you really have to. Alright, let's go ahead and craft it. This should just take a while. And it's already done. Great, now we've got everything we need. We've got the steel, the titanium alloy and the helium. So let's go ahead and craft our nanocarbon alloy. And there it is. That's how you craft a nanocarbon alloy. Now, if you've been following my channel, you probably know last time we built a diamond farm. And I'm thinking of doing the same with nanocarbon alloy. So if you'd like to see that, Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and turn on notifications. I'll see you next time, hopefully in the Nanocarbon Alloy Farm video. Thanks for now and bye!